Hey guys, it's Lucas, and in this video I'm going to be going over the Sensor Harvester tab in AI Oba, also known as the Cookie Harvester. And I'm going to be explaining the, the different methods that you can use to harvest cookies uh, on AI Oba. Uh, but before I get into that, I just wanted to briefly explain what cookies are. So cookies, you know, uh, also known as sensor cookies, are just pretty much just like web cookies that are used by uh, websites to identify humans from bots. Uh, and they can be pretty essential on certain sites as if you don't have uh, cookies on the sites that require them then you wouldn't be able to check out an item. Uh, if we were to go to the task tab, uh, now it's, it's important to realize that not all sites require you to harvest cookies. So for example Supreme and Shopify sites, you know, you will never be asked to harvest cookies on there. Uh, whereas when it comes to other sites that may be the case. Now, which sites require you to manually harvest cookies and which ones don't really depends on, you know, uh, what stage the bot is at. You know, there have been times in the past where, for example, for foot sites, you, there was a brief period where you didn't really have to manually harvest cookies because the bot was would, would do that for you automatically. Uh, but now you kind of have to do that for foot sites, at least at the time of this recording. And the same thing is for demandware. Uh, but anyways, let's get back into the methods that we could use to harvest cookies. Uh, and just briefly before I get into that, you know, I, I do notice that a lot of people do struggle with the cookie harvester at times. However, uh, you know, it, it really isn't that complicated of a concept. It's just, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just pretty much a certain method that you have to follow. And hopefully in this video I'll be able to clarify it so you know so we can avoid any sort of confusion in the future so uh, let's say that I wanted to do harvest cookies on Foot Locker so what I could do here uh, before I click on start I'm gonna want to go and want to generate some proxies so I'm going to so this is my AMB proxies dashboard you can you, you can you pretty much use any other type of proxies uh, you're not limited to using uh, AIB proxies or whatever. Uh, these are residential proxies. I usually prefer those to harvest cookies. And uh, for people that use residential plans, you know, sometimes I get asked whether cookie harvesting consumes a lot of uh, proxy data or not. And uh, it, it really doesn't. Uh, it's, it's very, very little proxy data, if any, you know, so that's not something to be concerned of, really. So location, uh, since it's Foot Locker in the US, I'm going to go for US. I can pick a random city or a state. I'm just going to go for a random city in this case, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to go always for static. And usually I like to harvest with around like 25, 50 proxies at a time. Uh, I can maybe get into that as to why I do that later. But you definitely don't want to use just one or two proxies. Uh, you know, you just want, you want a, you want a decent amount. So I'm going to create my proxy list. I'm going to copy my proxy list to my clipboard. So once you've generated your proxies, you can go ahead and go to the extension and add the proxies over here. All right. And uh, once you do that, you have the option to either send to the bot, which would mean that when you harvest the cookies on here, they would automatically be added here. All right, or you could untick this, and what it will do is the when you harvest cookies, it will not be transferred to the bot. Instead, it will be all added to a file that which you can export, and with that file, you can export it and you can import it to AIO bot on any other device. So for example, let's say that you plan to run AI OBA on your server, but you don't want to be harvesting cookies on your server because you don't want to open your server. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to be charged for uh, running your server. So you can harvest your cookies on your local IP, right? Export the file and then import it into, into the bot on the server, right? Uh, but for the matter of convenience now, I'm just going to be sending it to my bot. And so all you got to do now is just click start, refresh, and there you have it. Now you're here on the, on the page. 
you will notice that this counter is going up. This counter goes up this at the same time as this goes up, right? Every time a cookie is added over there, it's added over here to the bot. You know, if so, when you click send to bot, you don't have to manually do anything to transfer the cookies to the bot, right? It's already transferred here. But it's important to note that if you want to send to bot, you have to have the bot open at the same time. And all you got to do now is just, you know, pretty much st sit back and just watch this cookie counter go up. Uh, you could be setting up your tasks, you could be setting up your billing, your proxies while it all does that. It's just all running in the background, as you can see here. Uh, also, what you could do is you could harvest for multiple sites at the same time. So if I wanted to harvest for all the other foot sites as well, let's say foot action in here. I can go to foot action, click play. Right, It takes me to the foot action site. And now it's harvesting for foot action as well. And then see, now the counter is going up as well. You can experiment running with different uh, harvesting at the same time sometimes it doesn't work as efficiently for others in that case you know you could just try to harvest one by one yeah but other than that I mean it's that's pretty much it uh, you know you could use the exact same method to harvest cookies on Adidas as well on uh, Yeezy Supply uh, one note about Yeezy Supply is uh, it can be a bit harder to uh, harvest on there and what I mean by that it could take a longer time to harvest on there compared to other sites uh, so it does require a bit of patience and uh, you know I do get a lot of questions sometimes uh, and I will be going over these questions very briefly right now uh, so sometimes I get questions such as you know should I put any proxies in the proxy tab here while harvesting uh, the answer is no. The only time you have to put proxies is in the actual extension. All right. Uh, another question I have uh, that I get sometimes also is, do I have to have any tasks running while I have the harvester on? Uh, the, the, the answer is no to that. You can harvest without having any tasks on. Uh, also, you know, I, I, I get asked, uh, should I have the harvester running while there is a drop? I personally wouldn't recommend you do that. Uh, maybe in a case where you feel like your cookies are about to be depleted, maybe you need to keep the, the sensor harvester running, but it's better to have the tasks running without having the sensor harvester running in the background. Uh, your bot could, would work more efficiently, basically. And uh, you know, also some of the other common questions that I get, but that often the answer to changes uh, you know, these questions I will address, but I will not answer because uh, the answer to the, these questions could change from time to time. And what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes we get asked questions such as, uh, what sites require cookie harvesting, right? Uh, we've already addressed that sites such as Supreme and Shopify, you know, they do not require you to harvest cookies. However, uh, Demandware foot sites, and you know other sites they may require you to harvest cookies at times uh, but this could change from time to time so how can you stay up to date with which sites you need to harvest cookies well you could always ask a support staff or you could go to the discord and you could go to the AIO AMB discord and scroll down all the way to the essentials tab and go to the cookie harvester FAQ channel and over here we pretty much have the videos as well as all the different tips that you could use uh, you know when it comes to harvesting cookies uh, this FAQ often changes and the reason it changes is because you know changes happen on sites every day and changes happen with the bot every day uh, so as you guys can see here for example right now for the sites that you need to harvest cookies on it's for foot sites and for demandware right uh, but this could change you know there has been a time before where AIO bot did not require you to harvest cookies for foot sites right uh, so it's always good to go onto this FAQ channel to see what kind of updates are being made we regularly update this and as soon as the developers mention any sort of site changes we instantly update the FAQ so you don't have to worry about this being outdated information 
The same thing can be said about how many cookies should you harvest and how far in advance you should harvest. These kind of information do change from time to time. So I highly advise you to go on the FAQ channel to stay updated. Uh, you can also find the video. I'm about to replace the links to these video with the new videos that I'm creating right now. And uh, so uh, the same thing can be said about this. As I said earlier, if you did not have the extension harvester, if you do not have the extension harvester uh, on your tab here, then you're going to have to go to refer to FAQ number two, and you're going to have to watch the video mentioned here uh, so that you can find uh, the method to actually get the extension back. But uh, hopefully you guys found this video useful and uh, you know, uh, hopefully I can keep on creating more videos that you guys could find valuable.